Hey guys, I'm Will with Throttle, and this is our E350Z, Tesla Swap 350Z. We have a lot of names for it, but this is it right here. It is finally done. It started in the summer of 2019 with Ricky and Mickey and Evan kind of conceptualizing and getting it. It was originally a drift car, and it had a little bit of a history. It came to us without a motor, and it originally from the lot was an automatic. It was converted to manual, but we took all that out put in a full Tesla pack along with a large drive unit in the back. So this is the equivalent of a P85 single motor Tesla Model S in an awesome 350Z wide body. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. I'll show you guys some of the highlights and show you how we use speed hug gauges. Starting off here in the, in the front underneath the bonnet. Uh, this is no longer an engine bay, this is our battery box bay. And we have a few types of batteries in here starting with 12 of 16 Tesla modules right here from an 85 kilowatt hour pack and we worked with Optima and have a couple of their smaller yellow tops here. Um, this one handles kind of the chassis, the brake booster and things like that. We have a second one in the back that handles the air suspension, our loud sound system that we have in here uh, because it was too quiet, we needed some, some music, some thump. Underneath these beauty panels are things like our coolant reservoirs, our coolant routing, a lot of hoses and stuff under here, but we figured we'd uh, clean this up and uh, match the body, bring the body color into here, uh, but still show off the fact that these are batteries, not a VQ motor. So that's enough in the engine bay. Let's start talking about what we are sitting on right here. This is a one of one. There's the only other one that is uh, in production or is on a car is up in Japan. So this is the only Liberty Walk wide body kit for the 350Z that is here in the States. And also, as you notice, this is a 370 front end. That is a fascia update. So that's 370 headlights, but if you walk around the back, you can see that it is a 350Z. It's just a little bit of a facelift, along with the 370Z turn indicators. So in order to make this thing full electric, we had the Model S subframe. It actually bolts to the bottom of this. And the Model S is so much wider than the 350 that we had to push this Liberty Walk kit out even more. It's another two inches on each side in order to fit these awesome rotiform wheels and Toyo tires that we have on this one. Now let's show you in the back. A little bit more care. We worked with the guys named SOS Customs in Oceanside, California. They finished off, there used to be a couple of outlets here for exhaust, but there's no exhaust with this thing, so they capped it off, really cleaned this up. And now all you see is a fan shroud radiator mount that is back here, and that is cooling our drive unit and our DC-DC charger that is on board. Let's go on the inside. I'll show you guys the awesome speed hut gauges that we worked with speed hut on to get this thing to have that analog but up-to-date feel. All right. We had a few stages of adding speed tuck gauges to this. We tried to just get away with having our state of charge and our coolant temps for the drive unit and the batteries, but it was very empty right here. And it was really hard for me to know how fast I was going because the iPad app will show me that, but I have to switch between screens for the air system for the drive unit and all that. So uh, we reached out to speed tuck gauges and they got us one of their awesome GPS speedometers. Also this awesome zero to 60 lap time, all these kind of cool things that you can utilize with this three and three eighths gauge. I know they have different sizes, but this was just perfect to squeeze underneath this steering wheel for us to be able to do some fun stuff with and, and know how fast we're getting. So we have a mix of gauges uh, here from Speed Hut. Some of them are CAN bus, some of them are analog or the GPS speedometer. We are monitoring our drive unit coolant temp, our battery pack coolant temp. We have our 400 volt state of charge. And then since we have two separate Optima batteries, if the link between them breaks, I need to see that one of them is dropping and the other one is staying so that I know that I need to address anything that's going on. So we have a slew of gauges here and I know there's a lot more that they have available, uh, but we'll save that to the next build. Yeah. So that is our E350Z. Appreciate you guys taking a look at it with me and uh, hope you guys like what you see and we'll bring more to you in the future. Thank you to Speedhead as well.